This hotel is a true institution here in Kenya. In fact, it is the second oldest hotel in Nairobi. Welcome to the Fairmount Norfolk here in Nairobi. <laughs> So let me show you around a room. We have the deluxe king room here, and it is beautiful, especially for being like the second oldest hotel in Nairobi. They've done a lot to keep it maintained. So we have our bathroom in here. We even have a tub there, shower. On this side, we have our uh, safe, or it's safe. We have a safe in there in a closet. <laughs> and then you come in, we have a king size bed. And of course, tea coffee station, which is always in need, plus a fridge there. Oops, sorry. And we have a little seating area, little desk, but we even have a veranda here as well, which kind of overlooks the gardens and the rest of the hotel. So we've already taken a walk around the property and I do have to say I'm surprised at how lush this property is considering you're very, very close to downtown, like the expressway's right over there. So far I haven't heard any of the noise coming in, so that's also a plus, something to note. about Hungary expeditions we're either on safari or at the coast but if you're looking to stay at a hotel in Nairobi they can book that for you too so we're gonna put their information down below and truly from start to finish they can have you covered since we arrived Tracy has been wanting to eat that macaroon it looks and those so pieces pretty. of chocolate so go go I hope it's good because you've been dreaming about it <laughs> is it good it's pretty good oh that's the proper. texture is the texture is proper. Wow. Mm -hmm. Are we in Paris? Wow. Something I really love is when you walk around the hallways of the hotel, it is like a museum. They have so many portraits of people and how Nairobi was like in the early 1900s. Like the history is insane. The difference to see the streets of Nairobi in the early 1900s. I mean, it doesn't look like that anymore. Let me tell you that. So we're gonna head to what they called Lord Delamere Terrace for supper. And I'm in super hungry. I've already scoped out the menu, so I probably already know what we're gonna get. We are a little too early for dinner, which happens very often because most people here in Kenya they eat at like 7 30, 8 nine where we like to eat at like 5 30. For our defense it's 6 30 right now and they start at seven so we get 30 minutes to uh, to just relax. The lobby we're gonna show it to you tomorrow a full tour of the hotel but the place is stunning. So if you've been following us for a long time then you will understand our relationship with Fairmount. Fairmount for us holds a special spot in our heart because back in 2015 <laughs> um, we actually started dating at the Quebec City Fairmount. So Fairmount Chateau. Frontenac. Frontenac. <laughs> Anyways, but because of that, like we kind of seek out Fairmounts when we can. And they all have that same feel so far. I love it. So tonight we did choose to do the buffet. It is beautifully presented and everything smells amazing. So yeah, we chose the buffet. But stay posted because tomorrow we're dressing up for a very, very special dining experience here at the Fairmount. I'm 
already in love with the salad bar. I mean, look at the colors in my plate. It looks so good, and these little pita are nice, fresh, and warm. Ooh. They have a really good selection. Like they have like vegetarian option, but they also have like all the kinds of meat, like fish, mm -hmm. chicken, and beef. And the beef is very nice. Mm. I think the beef is the best sort mm. of all the meat to have. Yeah. Now, of course, we have pretty much one of everything from the dessert table, and we're gonna try them out. Tomorrow, though, we have to try the cheesecake on the menu. Tomorrow, we have a special dinner. We'll see what they have. No, but for lunch. Oh, for lunch, dessert for lunch. We'll see about that. <laughs> It's okay. Mmm, that's good. It's an apple cake. I love that. So, very nice dinner. Highlight definitely the salad bar. Oh, oh my, my goodness. goodness. Every single one, like that, that mango so good. salad. Yeah. Oh, so good. So it was a 4,250 yeah. Canadian shillings per person. Yes, it is a little bit more on the expensive side, but just keep in mind, you're in a fair amount. Yeah, and on top of that too, I, there's also packages where you can do like full board, half board. Yeah. So that's something to consider. It's just because we came in on bed and breakfast. But ju just wait yeah. for tomorrow's meal. Yeah. <laughs> we just came back to our room and like, you know, a hotel that does turn down, that's pretty rare. I appreciate it. The bottles of water are beside the bed. We got some slipper. They kind of unfolded the bed and get some little stone, soap, to, soap stone? What's the, how do you call this? Soap stone thingies. They're very cute. I don't know if we can keep, can we keep them? Maybe. Tonight, we're just gonna chill out, maybe watch a movie or something, and we will see you guys bright and early in the morning. Good morning. Yeah. It is a rainy morning this morning, which was to be expected. It's supposed yeah. to be, well, Kenya in general. It's been right raining now. like that for like a few weeks. But otherwise, yeah. we slept so good. So AC, good. comfy bed, blackout curtain, doesn't get much better. Oh my than gosh, that. it was amazing. <laughs> Watch out, Good morning. <laughs> still have to taste it but as of right now and they're winning breakfast selection the fact that they have like shakshuka on a buffet it's my favorite i love your hat thank you you look very good thank you, thank you. i'm gonna dare to say it this is one of the best breakfast buffet I've ever had in a hotel and the best in Nairobi, no questions asked. I have to say their quality of their food is very, very good. Yeah, um, and, and the this, variety. Just good selection, like their cold cut and cheese selection even. Yeah, super good. They have yeah. a beautiful yogurt station, which you can get me with that. Shakshuka for Tracy, coffee's great. I mean, it's this great. is it, great breakfast. Well, let's go for a tour. So one thing I do love about this property is how lush it is. They even have little touches from like the 1900s. You have the carriage there, they have an old tractor there. It's really cute. So when we come into the main building, we're coming from our room, so we're kind of coming in the backside. You have a gift shop over here and something that i really like about it, it it does hold a lot of local vendor items so if you don't have time to venture into the city because you're just staying here before you fly out or before you go to safari that still works for you and then you come down here and we have a stunning restaurant called patu i'm not going to show you right now because we are planning to have supper there tonight it looks nice nice <laughs> So when you come down, you have reception behind me, and then over here we have a lounge area. On the other side, we have the bar called Chin Chin Lounge. It's actually open 24-7, even serves tapas 24-7. 
But in this area is really where you can feel the old style charm that it still holds from the 1900s with a flair of a new contemporary design in it as well. So now leaving reception, we're gonna go to the back of the, I wanna say compound, it's not a compound, the property. <laughs> and we're gonna show you the pool and gym. So as we're walking around, you can tell there's different buildings around, which really makes this property huge. So there are 108 rooms and 17 suites actually here on property. So they do have an outside pool here. And yes, there are people swimming in it right now, even though it's raining, because it is actually a heated pool. And then on the front side where the pool is, there's even a health club, which has a spa, and a gym, which has fantastic equipment. Otherwise, like Tracy said, it is a truly beautiful property. The lushness truly brings it to another level. And somehow, even though they are 120 years old, they were able to like keep this place up to date in very good shape, but by keeping its old charm and elegancy. So for lunch, we decided to do room service and we got pizza and it smells so good. As you can tell, we're back here in front of a Nene boutique. Um, and I tried so hard. I have seen this dress. I've walked by it a couple times. I've seen similar ones at different hotels as well. Um, but I think this is the time I'm going to try it on. <laughs> and I realized that this boutique that is behind me, so a Nene boutique, is actually the same boutique that I've seen in other various hotels. So that makes sense that I'm gravitating towards it. Let's go. My safari dress is secured and I absolutely love it because not only is it like the style of a safari dress but it has the little touch of red here which is actually the Maasai plaid. So on that point is everything within these stores are actually locally sourced so you know where your money's going and with the sustainability factor as well. Something that I'm not always conscious of but I should be. These boutiques are actually found in all the fairmounts around Kenya plus various hotels and every single airport in Kenya too. So if you want to get yourself a nice Kenya safari dress, you know where to go. And now we are all dressed up because tonight is a fancy night, but that it starts at the bar because they have a beautiful bar here that we're gonna go enjoy a glass of wine at right about now. Every Fairmount hotel around the world has a signature restaurant normally where you can try a little bit of the local cuisine but with a Fairmount slash luxury twist. And here at the Fairmount in Nairobi, it is a restaurant called Tattoo, which in Swahili means three. And why three, you ask? Good question, I asked you. Um, it is basically for good service, good food, and good ambiance. So we're gonna put that to the test. They already have two out of three because we didn't try the food. The staff is amazing. It is a beautiful restaurant. And we also have the best table in the restaurant. We can do it an open menu and bring anything for us from starter, main course, intermezzo, pizza. This is your kitchen. Oh, okay. So, yeah. yeah. We like everything. We're really yeah. not picky. Uh -huh. The chef, you make it, you know what's good, so I trust you. Okay, yeah. Are you a fan of seafood? Yeah. I love food. <laughs> <laughs> food is 
from the land, from the sea, whatever. <laughs> okay. So we just arrived at our chef's table here at Tattoo and to be honest, we didn't know what to expect. I looked at the menu beforehand and I kind of was like, oh, that looks good, that looks good. But my mind is blown right now because we've just showed up and we're like, hey, what's good? And she's like, well, what do you like? And we just looked at her and we're like, anything? She's like, awesome. Disregard, don't look at the menu. I'm going to create my own for you. <laughs> that is the best type of restaurant experience ever because you just trust the chef and then you trust what wines are going to pair it with. I'm so excited. Cheers to what I think is going to be a pretty good dining experience. <laughs> so for our first course, we have a warm towel. It smells really good, but don't eat it. No. So for our bitings, which is not even a course yet, we have some fried plantain, which is locally sourced. I appreciate that. And very hot. That's good. Yeah, you gotta try with the sauces too. So there's three types of like levels of heat basically for the sauces. So ending with like a salsa verde. So try the sauce. Colorful and it looks great. I know. Okay. Yeah, I agree. I need to try this by first. It's very hot. But very good plantain. And the first one. We put way too much raffle. I think it's supposed to be the opposite. <laughs> For the chef's defense, she did tell us that this one was the spiciest, but like I didn't realize how spicy it is. So uh, moral <laughs> of the story, very spicy, but all very delicious. Don't go heavy on the yellow one. So starting off, we have some fried camembert. And if you know us, we love cheese and especially fried cheese <laughs> with some tomato tree jam. The only thing I don't like about this dish is that there's only two pieces of cheese. <laughs> it's, a, it's an amuse bush. So for technically our second course, I guess we have... Well, it's our the first course. It's the appetizer. So we have an amuse bush. Just okay, fair enough. Out. Now that our <laughs> bushes are amused... <laughs> <laughs> we have a lobster ceviche and a pear salad with, with blue, blue cheese, cheese dressing. Which, I don't know if you guys Tracy's know this, favorite. but I absolutely love blue cheese. Mm. What stands out the most in this is just like the freshness of the flavors. Yeah. It just, everything tastes so fresh. And some of that freshness comes from the herbs because they actually have a little herb garden behind the hotel. So you know that all of this extra flavor was freshly picked probably just before our meal. So the food here really is elevated. Like the pear salad that we had is not just salad and pears. It was like Paris with like nice and warm, almost caramelized. Same with like a caramelized walnut with it, with a balsamic glaze and blue cheese dressing with things of blue cheese. It was the perfect balance of everything. Moving on to the soup that we just got. We have a crab soup and it is loaded with crab. So I'm very excited to try that. And on top of that, the service. The chef is coming with every single meal that is served, every entree, every course, sorry, <laughs> that is coming out and explains it and just tells you the flavors and everything. I love it. I'm never eating like creamy seafood. Do you, what are, seafood chowder? Again? Yeah. Really? Mm -hmm. This is better than seafood chowder? 100%. Tracy loves seafood chowder in Canada. So. And like Tracy said, there's so much crab in it and it's fresh. Mm. So good. Thank you so much. This You're is my favorite. Today? It's like dessert between. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> just to break. <laughs> Like, I don't, I don't know how to explain that this is unbelievable. And I know you don't believe me. Just I know. a palate cleanser. I know. Just, just, just trust me on it. <laughs> See? I knew he wouldn't believe me. You guys probably don't either, but it's like the perfect tangy sweet. Wow. Yeah. That's cleansing my palate, all right. Mmm. 
I have to say, the idea of putting a table right in front of the kitchen, in front of an open kitchen, is such a good idea. Like, it's so entertaining and so cool to see them work and make the food from scratch. Like, I love it. There's something about an open kitchen, too, that it's like, you get what you see, you see yeah. the work that goes into it and stuff. I don't know. You can appreciate the food just a little bit more. Yeah. Up next, we've got some Spanish-style mussel. These are Canadian-style mussels, but uh, these ones are probably better. I'm hilarious, I know. I can't give a straight face. <laughs> mm. These are really good. I don't think we've ever had mussel in Kenya. No. Mm. When they're a different style than we're used to, like East Coast Nova Scotia, we do more of like a... Is it a creamy sauce? It's kind of. Like a white wine creamy yeah, sauce. Yeah, wine white sauce. Yeah. So to have them like this, mm. very it's nice. very different, but good. Also, pro tip when you eat mussels, once you're done with your first one, you keep the shell, and then you just use it to eat them. I feel like that's a very Canadian it's thing. It's a very Canadian thing, we all do that. But it's so efficient. That's true. This is uh, David's territory here. <laughs> Beautiful piece of beef with chimichurri sauce on top. Cook medium rare, just as I like it. Oh boy, oh boy. That's good meat. For our last course, and everything was good, but thankfully it's our last course because <laughs> I am so full. We've got a caramel mousse on apple crumble, and according to Tracy's face, it is delicious. And I second on that. That is insane. That is so good. That is so, so good. That mousse is incredible. Oh, thank you for oh, the so <laughs> I have to say, so far they did a really good job at like kind of pairing a wine mm -hmm. with what we were eating. At yeah. first it was very light food, the salad, the seafood. So we had a delicious uh, white wine from mm -hmm. France. Then we switched to a delicious red wine uh, for, the for the steak. And now, even though I'm not done with this one, we got a little muscat, which is like kind of a dessert wine. It's a very sweet wine. Yeah. Something like a, similar to like Porto, basically. That's very nice. I know, right? Very flavorful. Mm. So just when we thought it was done, however, this is the last one. You just get a couple of chocolates at the end. Yeah. Okay, five for way, chef. Yeah. Amazing. Delicious. Good our team. Thank you very much. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> ten out of ten. We'll do it again. <laughs> Well, this was the best fine dining experience we've ever had in Kenya. Like that was a 10 out, 11 out of 10 meal. That was so good. So special shout out to Anne-Marie, the chef, and to Kennedy, our server. Yes. He was fantastic. And he did the wine pairing, actually. I don't know if you caught on to that, but he paired our white wine, red wine. Yeah. And it was so good. So, so overall, good. <laughs> they won. Yeah. The, the three things that they basically said, yeah. like they, they went above and beyond in that. Yeah. Great service, extremely delicious food in a beautiful ambiance, especially like the chef's table, definitely the best table in the restaurant, but the rest of the restaurant's yeah. ambiance is also very, very nice. So that's what I was going to say. Yes, the restaurant is fantastic, but if you have the opportunity, definitely book the chef's table mm -hmm. because it just, it adds that extra element yeah. that just makes the experience like over above 10 out of 10. And if you want so, yeah. this 11 out of 10, go for the uh, tasting meal, yes. which is like a bunch of different things that kind of the chef selects and uh, it's so a good. very, very good so one. Good. So I'm very pleased. But with that being said, I am very full. <laughs> We're gonna go to bed and see you guys in the morning. Good night. <laughs>
Good morning. This was another beautiful, relaxing night. The sun night. is shining this morning. The too. sun is shining. We haven't seen the sun in a while. <laughs> So yeah. it feels really nice, but otherwise today is a self-care day after a very nice breakfast once again We yeah. decided to go for a little massage. I'm impressed with you. You don't very often I rarely do agree like to this. a massage, but it's a couple of massage. Yeah. So it's kind of something we do together <laughs> So our massages today are done by Zanazia Spa. They are in all kinds of different locations Especially inside hotels here in Nairobi and from what I heard they have a very good reputation Tracy and I are pretty excited <sighs> Massage. We're going to go enjoy some spa and steam room for a bit before maybe jumping in the pool. Fun fact, spas are good for like anti-aging, stress reduction, sleep, weight loss, and so much more. So I highly suggest that you do it once in a while, says the guy that never does it. But I just lack of opportunity. I need to go to more places with nice songs like this. 15 minutes later, I can't do it anymore. It is 75 degrees Celsius or about 160 Fahrenheit. Whew, feels good, I think. After a relaxing couples massage and sauna, we are hot, so that means it is time to... <laughs> Jump in the heated pool. So if you can't tell by me wanting to go to sleep, the massage was really good. It was really, really nice. <laughs> yeah, I agree. And it's something like I just don't do often. I'm pretty active. Like I go to the gym all the time. I run a lot. Them. And every time like I get a massage, they always find that spot that I'm like, oh, that's so sore. And it's probably because I don't care, take care of myself enough. It's true. Yeah. But I like the afterwards too, like with the good tea, we had dates and chocolate and then go to the steam room, mm -hmm. come down to the pool. Like it's, it feels more like a package. Yeah than just going for a massage because yep. they're so equipped with everything. Yeah. So whenever you see their logo somewhere at a hotel or whatever, yeah. know that it's, it's going to be a good one. Agreed. <laughs> well, Fairmount truly held its reputation. <clears throat> yeah. Amazing. And especially like this property is what, 1903? 1904, 120 yeah. years old as we're recording this. And it still is fantastic. Like you can tell it still holds some of that like old field charm. But and at the same time, so well maintained. Yeah. 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 I like walking around the property and see like the carriages yeah. and stuff. Otherwise a big shout out to the staff. The staff here is just world class. Yeah. You you just cannot go wrong with Fairmount. So I highly recommend this property here. We already went to the one in the Mara. Yeah. I'm going to link that one down below and maybe we're going to go to Mount Kenya soon. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? So stay posted for that. And otherwise, a big thank you to Hungary Expedition for supporting our channel and also to make your adventure possible. Their link are also going to be down below. Yeah. And until next time, see you guys in the next one.